Welcome back to the Punjabi Verse, the podcast where I am becoming fluent in Punjabi within 30 days. This is the third episode, and let's do a recap. So, Namaste. Namaste, Ethan. Ki hale? Me tika. Do si ki meo? Me vi tika. Mera naam Jaspreet hai. Mera naam Ethan hai. Acha, pot vadia. Tera. Wait, no. What other words did we cover? Um, remember we did I, me, mine, myself. But like, we didn't really cover any vocab. No, we were just words. talking about like uh, you, your formal, you. How you would express yourself, but like, we didn't talk about what things to express no, yourself about. No, we were just, just kind of, you know, it's a third episode. So we're still at very beginner level. Right. Okay. So. So, very short recap. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, okay. So, let's talk about what we were about to cover at the end of last episode. And mm-hmm. then um, we'll get into, like, how to express your feelings. Uh, so, yeah. So, we were talking about... Mm-hmm. C and how to say things in the past tense. So how does that work? Um, well, pick pick a set, pick a feeling that you wanna talk about, like feeling like, happy, for example. I was happy. Uh-huh. I was happy. So me kush si. Me kush si. Me kush si. Kush is happy. Me is I, and si is was. Okay, so you just plug in C whenever you're talking about the past tense. Yeah. What if it's plural? Um, like, we are happy? Yeah, we were happy. We were happy. Asi, we is asi. Asi kush si. Oh, so. Okay, so it's still C. Because if I said we are happy, I'd <laughs> say asi kush han. Asi kush han. Oh, huh? Uh-huh. So when do you use hun? Um, uh, hun is what, like when you're talking about a bunch of people or formal. Oh, oh kush hun. But you're not included. No. Oh, kush hun. A kush hun. Okay. Like those are happy or they are happy. Okay, makes sense. So. All right. Well, I guess C is pretty simple. <laughs> so yeah. whenever it's in the past tense, you just use C. C, yeah. Okay. So and present is ha or a. Uh, yeah. So, now to get to feelings. Mm-hmm. Um, so, how do I say, like, I am hungry? Because we mentioned menu mm-hmm. at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Uh, or, not at the beginning. We mentioned menu at the end of last mm-hmm. podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, how do, you, how do you use menu? Hungry is book. Hunger is book. Menu book lagi hai. Menu Pukh lagi hai. So, pukh is hunger. And lagi is like, I feel that way. Like, so, the literal translation is, hunger's got to me. So, there is no direct translation of, I am hungry. Well, don't worry about the direct translation. Yeah, I mean, you could technically say that. If I was if I was going to say it, I would say, me pukhiya. And you would say, because it's female. And these these words are genderized, so which is new, which is in English you don't say that. Hunger is hunger. It doesn't, you know, like flex to male or female. In Punjabi, I would say me pukhiya, I am hungry. But pukhi e is female. You would say me pukha, a is male. You know, okay. like in Spanish, uh, a is female and o is male. Yeah. Like, uh, for example, in names, Maria, Mario. So in Punjabi, E is female and A is male. So, me pukha, me pukhiya. And the third uh, sound I'm going to add is the A sound. So if you're talking about your friends, you come home and you say, Mom, my friends are hungry, right? They are hungry. So you would say, O pukhe ne, or O pukhe han. O okay. is like um, uh, they, 
or that. Uh, there is no article in Punjabi. There is no uh, a the like like that. So uh, you for you can just use a and o. A is somebody close to you. O is somebody away from you. And if your friends are sitting right here, you would say, "Mom, a pukhehan," like they're hungry. They're right here. Uh, if they're sitting in the car or somewhere else, you can say, "O pukhehan." Okay. Is that too complicated? No, it makes sense. But if pukka mm-hmm. is like eating, no, pukka or... is hunger. Oh, it is hunger. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So yeah, that makes sense. So menu pukka. Ni. So uh, I think I confused you. So I am hungry. That you can say main pukha or menu pukh lagiya. So there's two ways of saying this. Oh, but if it's you're still saying a feeling that's happening to you. So why would you use main? Like I said, there's two ways of saying that. Is just how it is. Yeah, main pukha is I am hungry, or m- more commonly we'll say menu pukh lagiya or menu. I'm thirsty. I'm cold. I'm hot. So we tend to say that style instead of saying uh, we could say that. So in English there's only one way of saying it. So in Punjabi there's two ways. Okay. That's kind of confusing. Is there like a cultural reason why? No, just is, every or? language is different. Uh, Punjabi is not a literal translation of English, but there's enough similarity. I read somewhere there's about 60% similarity because they're both Indo-Aryan languages. 60%? Yeah. So, wow. you know, like if you were learning Italian, I think there's close to 80%, but in Punjabi, there's about 60%. So, compared to if you were learning Japanese, for example, right now, I don't know Japanese, but I'm imagining it'll be a lot different. So, I'm curious, how do you say I'm hungry in Japanese? Does it translate from English or, you know what I mean? Right. So, um, so I, my suggestion is don't overthink it. Just go with the flow and talk about some other words. So, let's cover some words today. So, we covered hunger. How about um, happy, sad? Well, we already covered those two. Main khush haan. Main nahi khush haan. Main khush nahi haan. Or, uh, does it matter which way you say it? Uh, nahi, after, after khush. Main khush nahi haan. I'm not happy. So, you, what a, you can't say main nahi khush haan? It just sounds odd. So, okay. the nahi should come. The negative comes after. Okay. Um. Or main udas haan. I'm sad. The word for sad is udas. Udas. Haan. Main udas haan. Okay. Main, main udas nahi haan. Main udas nahi haan. Yeah. Um, okay. What about thirsty? Main, main piyasa haan. Main piyasa haan. Uh, Because it's male. And I would say main piyasi haan. Main pitta lagda haan. What are you trying to say? Main or menu pitta lagda haan. Pitta? What are you trying to say? I'm saying I'm thirsty, but with menu. Menu. Okay, so the word for thirst is pias. Oh, menu pias lagda. Lagi so pias is female. So remember, these are oh. genderized too. Me, menu pias, pias lagi. Okay. Pok is male. Men, well, no, pok is also female. Menu pok lagi. Menu pias lagi. Um, okay. So. I know we're we're diving deep into Punjabi now, so it may look a little overwhelming. How do you feel with this? Uh, it's it's all right. I mean, it's obvious. It's super different, so I yeah. don't know. I mean, it it doesn't feel that crazy of a <laughs> you know it, step. It, it's I remember I was reading I think on um, social media Elon Musk. He wrote one time, it was something related to languages, and he said, you know, I was sitting in my French exam wondering if washing machine was male or female. (laughs) And I just was laughing my head off because in Punjabi, like South Asian languages, we genderize everything, you know? Right. Um, Everything. So washing machine, for the record, is female. (laughs) So, uh, but you know, we're, we're used to it. Because you, you just grow up learning and listening to it all the time. Right. So, in English, 
you don't care a table is a table a chair is a chair right yeah mm-hmm. so what's the next is, is there like another layer to expressing yourself with menu uh, like another like i don't know something else that makes it more complicated <laughs> to be aware of no i think um i think just practice uh we should probably spend this episode and another one to just saying it different ways so why don't you say them um say i am hungry with menu menu uh puk puk lag don't speak over me sorry sorry menu puk lag diya lagdi so you said lagdi uh, you can say that too so me pukian me wait me pukka me pukha very good or yes. menu puk lagi hai i am hungry when you say menu puk lagi hai it means you're expressing i am i'm hungry right now like menu puk lagi hai so it it's kind of a need that you're showing menu puk lagi hai menu puk lagi hai mm-hmm. How about I'm thirsty? Um uh, menu um pit uh pias pi, pias uh lagie lagie or um me piti me pita piasa me piasa oh me piasa hmm. pita is father oh <laughs> <laughs> mother is mother pita is father these are very traditional words So um so I think you're doing good. Um I don't know. I don't think repetition is the way to go. Because it, I think if we want to practice it, we should do a conversation, not like what's the cuz then it's like that's like flashcard style. Okay. And I mean, you're right. No, no one learns like that. Okay. So um so let's talk about a scenario that you're coming home from college and um you know, and you're hungry, you want to eat something, right? So let's do that. Okay. So, knock knock, I open the door. You're coming home from college, you know. So, I say, "Hi Ethan, ki haal hai?" Main theek haan. Um, to see Kimeo. Main theek haan, main bahut khush haan. Uh Ethan, um so um go ahead. Oh, uh menu pak lagi hai. Oh. Um acha Ethan, ki khaunge? um me butter chicken pasand ha huh. okay very good so you want to stop here so we can i mean i don't know like we've already like i already know how to say all those sentences uh huh i think the next step from here is just more when you said you already know what do you mean so i want to well i'm do... just saying like mm-hmm. you know those each of those sentences we've already like dissected them before like okay but you said is... uh, men menu butter chicken bahut pasand hai right yeah pasand hai yeah or me, no no you said something else menu no i said menu menu but butter chicken pasand ha huh. pasand hai. pasand hai very good Um and what did I say? Did you understand that? Yeah, you just asked me to see Kimeo. To see Kimeo, to see ki khaunge. Oh, yeah, to see ki like what are you going to eat? Yeah, so this is important because I used future tense here. Remember we did past tense see? So I said to see ki khaunge. So when you add kha is to eat, when you said khaunge, then you add the future Uh, that implies that in the future what will you eat so it's the will will you hmm yeah okay so kaun mm-hmm. is just like eating. it's a conjugation yeah and then ge mm-hmm. is like the future the future to see ki khaunge to see ki khaunge okay so um now what if i want to go somewhere how mm-hmm. do i Uh, say it in english that. then i can help you well no i don't think that's productive so what if i so i'm going to try and say like mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. jim mm-hmm. uh go ha like right now me jim janda right i think we we talked about that in a, a previous episode uh-huh. so if i were to say that in the past tense i would say me jim mm mm-hmm. Uh, Gyasi. Gyasi. Mm-hmm. 
So what's the difference between Gya and Java? Gya is went. So is it the same word, or is it the same meaning as Java just in the past? Um, yes. So I went to the gym. So it's I like a conjugation? The gym. It says went. Gya is went. Like, okay. o, o gya si. O could be he or she. You know? So, o gya, he or she went. So, mm. jama is to go. Me jim jama ga. I will go to the gym. Or, so, what if I'm going now, though? I am me jim janda ha or me jim ja reha. Reha is means the present continuous. Like the ing form. Like, I am going to the gym. Me jim ja reha me jim ja reha. Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Okay. Here's how about this. Hmm. So aj me. Hmm. I'm gonna use uh, sentences from previous podcasts, by the way. Mm-hmm. So aj me. Um, sat. Mm-hmm. Uh, sadde. Or aj me sadde sat. Vaje mm-hmm. Utiya. Mm-hmm. So it's like seven thirty. Mm-hmm. Te me at vaje jim gyasi. Mm-hmm. Fir mm-hmm. me um eggs the chicken mm-hmm. kandasi. Mm-hmm. Fir me uh, hospital, <laughs> Gyasi, uh-huh. me podcast, uh, record, Kado si. Karda. Karda si. Uh-huh. So that's... Bad vadiya, Ethan. Oh, vadiya, vadiya, yeah, vadiya. I mean, uh, I wonder how our audience feels. I think it's, it's just a lot of practice because, yeah, it's just practice. Because I, we've talked about all those words before mm-hmm. and you just got to get the feel for how all of the sentences and grammar kind of flows together. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think we should start working more towards conversation mm-hmm. because I think we have a lot of the, the main building blocks. Okay. So I language. think that was great. I love what you just said because I, it's your daily routine, like what you did today, because then you're thinking in Punjabi or your target language. Rangi. Okay. So let's keep talking. So... Mm-hmm. Uh, tu si ki kardeo. Oh. Or aj. Hmm. Tu si aj ki kardeo. Or tu si aj ki kita. Kita, kita is the past tense. Kita. Like, what did you do today? Anji. Aj tu si ki kita. Me aj swere um, sade che vaje uti. Sade che. Che is six. Anji. Sade che six thirty. Aj me swere. You remember yes, Swede? Yes, Hanji, Hanji. Morning. So keep, Mom, if I well, don't ask our, a question. Well, I want it for our audience too. Well, we can recap it after you speak it. Okay. Aj me swere sade che vaje uti. Fir me cha da kap pita. Fir me apne kutte nu ser karai. I'll repeat that. Fir me apne kutte nu ser karai. Karai. Ser karai. Ki matlab. Kutta is dog. Okay. Apna kutta is my dog. And ser is a walk or just, you know, a walk. And kar, kar is to do. Karai is I did. It's a past tense. So I took my dog for a walk. So ajme mm-hmm. apna Kutta karai. Aj me apne kutte nu ser karai. Nu. Nu is an important word when you did something with something, you know. So it, okay. it's kind of like a connector. Apne kutte nu or you know whatever you are talking. Fir me kam kita. Fir me kam kita. Okay. So just to recap, swere mm-hmm. mm-hmm. is the morning. Mm-hmm. And the last sentence was apne hmm. kut apne kutta kutte nu. Why kutte though? It's not uh, multiple. Because of conjugation. Uh, uh, the words will just 
you know imagine a tree and a wind is blowing like you know all the leaves of the tree and the branches are swaying in one direction with the wind yeah so you know like the hurricane comes and all the palm leaves go one way so punjabi is like that um when the first sentence be- the first word becomes apne then kutta will become kutte fir main apne kutte nu sair karai um the words in punjabi will sort of you know bend the same way if you're saying okay. mera kutta it'll stay the same mera kutta apne kutte like so you that. just want things to sound good <laughs> I don't know it's just the way it is. Oh, okay. Um I don't think about it but when you're teaching someone suddenly you're like wait a minute <laughs> why do we change words so much in Punjabi? Right. So I wish I knew lots of languages so I could give you examples but I know my mom was learning French one time and she said French in French it was the same thing. The words change like that. So uh, but I don't know French so I don't I I can't say that. Okay. I mean, but they're different languages and different cultures. So I think mm-hmm. like Punjabi, mm-hmm. the rhyming mm-hmm. sort of culture, mm-hmm. like they want things to sound good. Does that sound right or Yeah, it's uh Cuz I mean, when all the the like in Italian, how mm-hmm. every word ends in a vowel. Uh-huh. You know, it, it like kind of it, it was designed to sound like, you know. I think but Italian and uh, Punjabi, they they may have that, that vowel thing. Cuz I don't know, you know how opera is very popular in Italian and Punjabi music is so popular. So right. and even when people um like I always joke that if I had a dog it's so hard for me to call a dog's name which doesn't end in a vowel. Right. You know? So I just can't do it. It has for me it has to be a vowel ending because it's just it's fun. It's musical. <laughs> <laughs> well anyway, mm-hmm. so apne kutte nu sher ser 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 is walk ser what about chal 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 is to walk too but chal chal is to go i think so chal is like a going walk <laughs> <laughs> like chal ethan chal chal like let's go you know oh so it's more like uh you're prompting something right like action. yeah you're prompting the walk you're not walking already yeah the word sir literally means like a nice walk in the park maybe there's a different word than walk in english okay so apne kutte nu sir karai oh karai karai is something you did so why don't you see you can say karai si <laughs> it's implied. <laughs> What? Okay, so it's just a shortcut. Because, you know, we don't speak literal language when we speak. Conversations, many words are implied. Right, yeah. You know? That makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so the next sentence, what would you say? Well, you, we were doing a recap of words. So, severe is morning. Severe. And the severe is also the conjugation. So right. The little word for morning is severe. Wait, what was the sentence you said after? Um, walking? Um, I said, Afer me kam kita. Fear me kam kita. And okay, so come as you know is work. work. Yeah. Kita. Mm-hmm. How come there's so many conjugated forms of like karda? Um. Again, the words will sway. Karda, kardi, karde. So th- this concept is really important in Punjabi yeah, so. to when you're speaking, uh, and you being a a male, so you will say karda, of a, you know, and I'll say kardi. and if you're talking about let's say your friends or other people o kar de si ya o kar de han right but you yourself will always be mai kar da okay yeah hanji yeah so it's da di and de hanji uh tera cha mm-hmm. vadiya si are you saying if my tea was good hanji um so i'm older so you want to say Oh, tu hadda. Tu had uh, yeah. oh, cha. Tu hadda cha. Bahut vadia si. <laughs> so cha is female. <laughs> so what? So tu hadi oh. cha. Oh, tu hadi cha. Bahut vadi si. Uh, hanji. Meri cha bahut swad si. Bahut swad. Swad is tasty. Hanji. Had a lot of flavor. Meri cha bahut swad si. The, ah, uh, me cha de naal. Rap khada si. 
So the nal's with. The nal is with, yeah. Okay. Hanji, hanji. Fe or the. Tu hada ser. Mhm. Vadi si. Meri ser, bohat bo changi si. Me ser te bohat relaxed si. But um, <laughs> relax the matlab kia. See now I have to think because a lot of Punjabi people will throw in so many English words that so sometimes even we forget. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the reality, you know, of um, being an urban Punjabi. So uh, we grow up speaking so many languages, and that's a cultural tidbit I want to want to throw in there. When you meet people from Punjab or who grew up in Punjab, uh, India, which is where I am from. So you learn at least three or four languages at the same time. So you speak Punjabi, you learn Hindi, which is very similar, which is India's national language. English, if you're a city-born uh, kid. And then Urdu, if you're watching, um, you know, TV and uh, plays, Mainly movies. Mainly from Pakistan, right? Well, even um, Hindi movies from the 60s. 50s they were they had a lot of urdu in them oh really yes so, so what they just became racist <laughs> no more no urdu. <laughs> no because um you know you know how they say change is the only constant in life things, yeah things just change okay so languages change languages are like live beings and they change hmm. so but but the good part of growing up there was that you are exposed to four languages right uh, yeah. from where i am yeah and uh, and Punjabi is very interesting because it has script, which is um, its own script, Gurmukhi, on India. And then it, you can also write it in the Persian Arabic script, which is called Shamukhi. And if you can read that, you can read Urdu, you can read Farsi, Arabic. So it's like Punjabi sits on the cusp of two scripts. So it's it's kind of fantastic. But anyway, I, I know we're just... We're just focusing on spoken Punjabi, but yeah. Right. No, it's interesting to know that context, though. Mm-hmm. But anyway. Mm. Um, so relaxed. So I. That's my homework. I have to find the word for relaxed <laughs> in Anji, Punjabi. Uh, ki more kardeo, aj ki more. Like, what more did you do? Uh, um, or more the matlab ki? Uh, more. Is matlab means word, by the way. So matlab say, means meaning. Meaning, meaning. So when I say more, the matlab, I'm asking like, what's the Punjabi meaning? To see ki, um, uh, to see ki hor karte ho. Uh, oh, ki hor, ah, hor. Yeah, to ki hor karte ho. So, ki hor. Main hor, uh, kuch nahi kita. So this is a very good word to know. Kuch nahi. Kuch means something. Nahi means nothing. Something, so, nothing. <laughs> So you did some. So you did some more of nothing. Yeah. The rest of so this. I me hor kuch nahi kita, and kuch <laughs> nahi is people will say like you call your grandma and you say nani ji satrikal tu si ki kar deyo, and the typical answer will be kuch nahi. So <laughs> kuch nahi <laughs> means nothing. Anji kuch nahi. Yeah. Kyun? Because people, I don't know. It's 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 a standard answer my mom always gives. Kyun par? Huh. Uh, kyun? Tu, tu si, hmm. uh, bol. Oh. Mm, I didn't understand. Kyon tu si bol, or kyon tu si bol di, um, kuch nahi. Like, why do you say that? Like, why did you say that? Me kuch nahi kita. Yeah, like, why did you do nothing? Um... <laughs> I guess it's... Uh, it's how, a, how would you even say... How would... Correct me. How, how do I say that better? Uh, like, is that what you're saying? Why did you not do anything? Yeah. Uh, um, so the reality is I did, of course, do something, but it's a cultural way of saying that Nothing I didn't do anything thing. productive, uh. <laughs> you know? So people will say like, which nahi, meaning I was just maybe watching, you know, TV or I was on social media. I wasn't really doing anything 
ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ سو پیپل سے کچھ نہیں یو نو ایون دو دے ور ڈوئنگ سم تھنگ ہاں جی ہاں جی پر کل کی کتا کل میں کم کیتا بہت سارا کم کیتا پر کل کچھ نہیں کم کیتا نہیں کیتا سی نہیں تم کم فرائیڈے وچ کم نہیں ہے Oh, you're talking about Kal tomorrow. I'm talking about Kal yesterday. <laughs> oh, no, no. Because Kal, I'm talking about Kal. Okay, so you need to tell your viewers that Kal can be... Yes, hmm. okay. So I'll explain this cultural bit. <laughs> so, Kal is a very interesting word because it can mean tomorrow or yesterday. And you can only know that based on context. That's why the situation just happened. Because mm-hmm. she was talking about yesterday and I meant tomorrow. <laughs> so it's kind of a goofy sort of thing. But do you want to explain like why it's like that? If you know. I don't know. It's just kal is kal. So the way you know it, if you said uh, kal si means yesterday. And kal uh, tomorrow again, you will depending on what you're saying. Like, kal, like you were, you're trying to tell me that tomorrow's Friday and I'm off tomorrow, right? Yeah. So, kal shukarvar hai. Shukarvar is Friday. Kal mein kam nahi karungi. So, karungi, remember the gi sound will be future tense. So, tomorrow I will not work. Kal mein kam nahi karungi. Kal mein... سینٹ changes its sound to match the sentence Kar, yeah so it's i think so shapeshifter b- that's the language it, it, it's a shapeshifter it's so bizarre because like uh, that was the most confusing part when we had the tutor mm-hmm. because i would i couldn't wrap my head around she never really explained it that well so mm-hmm. that's why i was like i don't know it just confused me so much i think she was assuming that you and i were speaking in punjabi So, you know? Yeah, I think she thought, like, I, I would and learn I from, And I kept thinking like, that you were going to learn so much from a tutor that I... You know what I mean? Like, you would just understand everything. So, there are a lot of gaps there. And I think that's why we are here today. Yeah. But um, I think the biggest thing is uh, learning the basics and then practicing mm-hmm. and getting as much input as you can through, like, conversation. Because that's how you learn, you know? Mm-hmm. You... you Once you're able to understand how the language works, mm-hmm. then you can listen to it and encode it. I wish people were not shy to speak so that if they had even one family member, that they would just pick up the phone and talk to them. Yeah. You know, it's okay to sound dumb <laughs> when you're speaking the language no, just, at first. Because I know at first, like, you, it's embarrassing because you're like, oh, mm-hmm. I don't want to sound like a fool. Mm-hmm. But... You know, people put that aside and it's more in, they, they focus on the fact that you made that effort to speak to them in their mother tongue. You know, Absolutely. they ignore, they, they don't think of you like, oh, look at this clown. He doesn't even know how to say, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm hungry. And they think like, oh, wow, you know, he's trying to learn. You know, it's like. You know what you can do? My suggestion is part. find one person who, with whom you, you trust and you can say, I really want to learn this language. And it's. Punjabi, it could be any target language. And that person should know that you are highly motivated. And then you can call them and talk to them and throw in other w- language words that you know. And then after you're done talking, you can say, hey, how do you say like relax or whatever word? So Yeah, or like during the, con- like once you get to a, a high enough level and mm-hmm. you can just com- totally just speak in the language. Mm-hmm. Like even if it's broken mm-hmm. or like you have to use English words to like, substitute for words you don't know mm-hmm. so that way you're forcing yourself to ask for like the meaning of a word in that language and then receive the meaning of the word in the language you know what i mean like so call your grandparents ethan yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. practice like your... talk 
someone who can only speak that language that's the well they speak english so that's a problem right. but right. you just you talk in punjabi and let them speak in whatever you know hodgepodge they're talking but you tell them i'm learning punjabi and i want to talk to you in punjabi so uh, you know they will they will in, they will it'll be odd but they will love it yeah luckily the human body is capable of adapting <laughs> to yeah. weird situations but yeah. anyway anyway so so you're doing very good ethan i think i've seen progress in just the three episodes in you and what the 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 progress that i've seen is that you are beginning to think in punjabi anji me samaj me samajha me samajda samajda mm mm-hmm. i understand me samajda ha samaj is understand the conjugation samaj da ki like i understand i guess you were trying to say i understand hanji so me main... i'm um, understanding me samajha me samajha samaj like i understood i'm understanding okay so there are different words now if you said i am understanding mai samajh raha raha oh hanji raha remember raha mm. is the ing form if you said i understood mai samajh gaya yes. but gaya is go <laughs> no gaya is like it happened okay okay i understand i'm sorry even i'm <laughs> I'm also learning. I think a teach. lot of Punjabi is just like you finesse it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Or I don't think like what you say all the time, right? Punjabi don't take themselves too seriously. Yeah. You know, it's just like Yeah, we go with the flow. It. Yeah, it, it's just the flow. culture of the land. And then It's kind of nice forgiving language, right? <laughs> yeah, so I understood or I am understanding and mai samajda ha, I am understanding. Samajda So yeah I think I think you it's like a jigsaw puzzle it's it's coming in together slowly but surely yes but anyway you want to do a quick recap sure all right so today we covered c the past tense mm-hmm. gya java rea mm-hmm. so different ways of saying something that has happened something you're doing or going to do mm mm-hmm. mhm and some yeah well something you're going to do and something you're doing mm-hmm. so rea is doing java is going to mhm but you can also say like like me jim java java go java go and mm-hmm. that means like you're doing it that you will go oh you will oh okay well, i'm wrong <laughs> <laughs> so yeah java is will go mhm and uh what else we talked about menu puplagie menu pitta pias oh piasa pias lagi lagi hai pias mm-hmm. lagi hai me and then how to say that with me me puk me puka me pita or piasa piasa mm-hmm. oh, it's the most confusing one <laughs> me piasa we mm-hmm. talked about karde mm-hmm. and how it shape shifts and how other things in punjabi shape shift <laughs> because punjabi is about finesse you know <laughs> wait and you know what if you try to learn to write punjabi so if you learn the script on the indian side which is gurmukhi that's i find that's easier they call it very scientific it's modern yeah very honest i know how to read and write in gurmukhi and it is actually not that it looks kind of crazy if you're an <laughs> english speaker which i get but i mean it's a very scientific sort of thing like everything makes sense there's no wacky rules there's mm-hmm. no hidden sounds all totally phonetic Mm-hmm. which is so nice because in english there's like 100 silent letters it's crazy yeah and and the part that when you learn it you know how the letters like there are seven um seven rows of the five letter sounds yeah. remember so it, they literally start from your bottom of your throat yeah each letter is uh you say it with a part of the throat and it builds up through each line in yes. the alpha it's really it's really cool we'll get into it one day Yeah. But uh I mean literally it it's it's, it's, it's so really anatomically correct and I'm a doctor by profession so when I f- found out I was like what this is just I mean it's too good. Yeah. So it starts from here and then you go up your voice box then the back of your throat then literally your back of your tongue then your soft palate and in the end your lips like literally there's five letters that you just use your lips yeah so it, it's just speaking is the this is the hard part. 
<laughs> that part, I know it looks kind of crazy, but don't worry, it's the easy part. But anyway, um, mm -hmm. and then we just did conversation, and mm -hmm. we learned some vocab from that. So anyway, thank you for sticking around. This has been 40 minutes. Wow, look at that. Just at the 40-minute mark. You did crazy. great, Ethan. <laughs> it was a fun time. It started, it was a little rough start, but we got it rolling, right? Mm -hmm. uh, double the length. We'll see if we can keep this going. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know what you guys thought. Uh, if you think things should be improved, if you have a suggestion for how we should structure things, mm -hmm. because this isn't the final structure, we're getting there. I think each lesson we're mm -hmm. improving. Um, I have one question for the viewers. Yeah. I want to know if this is too fast, right? Yeah, we can. Um, what we can do while I'm going through my journey. Obviously, everyone's at different places. Like I had a tutor already, so I mean, I, I did. I started this with a pretty. Uh, an okay foundation and also like i've been speaking at home obviously i have a mom who speaks punjabi but well, we haven't spoken so, as we much we haven't spoken Ethan, that no. much but i mean still i had experience with it so anyway uh if you guys would like we can do like a side series where we just focus on very simple conversation and we build that up very slowly mm -hmm. so if you're at any level from like the very beginning to not the very beginning mm -hmm. <laughs> you can uh, use that resource. So if you guys would like that that kind of resource, like a conversational input resource. But I think if nothing, so. if you are whatever level you're at, just listening to Ethan learn, because we're using so much English too, um, this is exactly what comprehensible input is. Well, right? eh, it's sort of. Okay. Because comprehensible input is just about listening to the language. Mm -hmm. This is like half sort of semi-comprehensible input. Okay, we're sort so, of like teasing it out, yeah, everything. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, we're not in the final form. We haven't perfected it. Uh-huh. We're, we're getting there. But um, if you guys would like a, a more comprehensible input resource, like I was just talking about, let us know, and we'll make it. Thank you. Nothing better to do, right? Christmas break's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you, and we'll see you around for Good episode rock, huh? four. Fair mail, Dale. Fermil de Satsuri Akal. Satsuri Akal. Satsuri Akal.